uh, you understand us. And uh, for those who are wondering what uh, Shaft is, uh, this is kind of a 3D uh, showing or image. So underground, uh, you need to create spaces for uh, uh, mostly for for uh, uh, transportation, be it railways, mass, ra mass rapid trans uh, transit. So this is the tube, this is the tunnel underground, this is the tube. And y this shaft, so these shafts are openings uh, that you can use to access the the uh, the tunnel, the tunnel uh, when it's uh, dug by what is called a TBM. Uh, so and then Adit is a. You can see this Adit is like a horizontal passage, kind of an uh, like a, a horizontal pit. Uh, like boro, uh, not boro pit. I'm saying cess pit. Uh, when we're going to do geotechnical investigation, you do vertical cess pit uh, going downwards. But adits are like uh, pits, uh, horizontal pits, or floating pits. So these are what I is called the shafts. And uh, so normally, uh, uh, this is the uh, one one reason is for ventilation. Also, there are other reasons you can uh, uh, add supplies if you want to, because the people working in the tunnels uh, need uh, supplies for food and even even to get the uh, the equipment to get the equipment to the tunnel itself. Uh, the the TBM the equipment that you're going to use to dig the tunnel to use the shaft uh, you also need the uh, the shaft for ventilation uh, once you dig out the material you need to <coughs> get it out of the tunnel you use the shaft so uh, just trying to give you an example so if this is your tunnel uh, then you uh, along the tunnel you provide a shaft uh, for ventilation for supplies uh, to get away the, the excavated material and so on and so forth. So now now uh, just a minute the I mean the shaft uh, uh, the work of the shaft and you can see here an example of shaft being dug and this is uh, on the right top, uh, right hand side. Uh, there is the railway track, and you can see some light things ahead. Uh, that's where the shaft is located. So, basically, if you want to access the tunnels, uh, you want to uh, uh, put uh, take the supplies to the tunnel. You use the shaft, and even that is the same place you are going to use the to get to to get the shaft out of the tunnel, as well. Uh, so the purpose allow access to the tunnel for equipment and removal of soil from the tunnel. Permanent if used for air because you are going down there, uh, people is a uh, it's a uh, uh, it could be like an entire city down there because people are moving, uh, there is life there, so you need to provide the uh, air for people. Otherwise, people will suffocate. A deep shaft for pollution, <coughs> excuse me, deep shaft for pollution control. Uh, yes, so if, if, for example, if it's a water project, uh, to keep the health of the water, you always need to aerate, I mean, uh, water to be aerated. So still, you, you, you need to pump water and then water mixes with the air. You need to pump air, sorry, and air mixes with the water and the quality of the water uh, continues to be fresh. Now, features, uh, they are usually deep and circular, mostly circular. Uh, shallow shafts can be rectangular, uh, considered as vertical tunnel, design and lateral support system for thrust and moment. Uh, so, uh, mostly circular. So, actually, even the one we are going to use as design, we are going to assume circular. Uh, otherwise, for rectangular, the idea is the same. Uh, but of course, uh, what we are going to, in actuality, is much more complicated. But uh, we're just going to give you an idea uh, here in 
uh, that uh, you can know what it is about. Now the construction you can say cut and cover approach. Uh, once you cut, you cover because the uh, if this is your soil, if this is the soil, this actual section, you have to provide a protection protection uh, because uh, less the, the 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 wall will collapse that's the point so what we say uh, uh, cut and cover so the procedure that is involved in cut and, and cover <coughs> excuse me install wall a uh, wall or steel plates cast in place in concrete wall or sheet pile excavate and brace a soil as uh, so once you excavate, you brace. Brace is uh, applying this support uh, so that uh, the wall is supported. It remains vertical. Otherwise, uh, the it, it it might collapse. The soil uh, might. I mean, the walls might might collapse. Note that walls and bracings are temporary for uh, for cut and cover shaft, but if permanence is des <coughs> desired. <coughs> then uh, secondary support system must be built i.e permanent short grid so for the so initially the the support uh, the bracings uh, sh uh, should be temporary uh, because uh, the you also need uh, th once you do the shaft you need space to uh, you just need space to take things inside and out of the tunnel and uh, once the <coughs> the uh, actually once the even sometimes once you th this is done you may need to cover and uh, and uh, get rid of the shaft uh, you cover yeah, but uh, if you need it to be permanent then you ha you need to uh, design other secondary uh, uh, support system uh, to make sure that uh, the permanence is achieved. <coughs> so this is a. Uh, so this is the plan. This is the plan. This is the plan. This is the cross section. So these are the anchors. These are the support system. Uh, these are beams. Uh, the struts that uh, used to support the. Uh, the wall. So this is. What you are seeing here is the, this is the cross section, uh, is this, that is the cross section here. Okay, so this, is, that is the cross section. And this is some other angle to give you uh, an idea of, uh, so the beams here, the beams, uh, this, this is what you can see here. These are beam, so one, two, three, four. Uh, so and then the the beams are supported on columns as you can see in the cross section. So this is another view of uh, of uh, the support system, and these are other details uh, that you can see for yourself. Now there is what you call uh, Kaison. Uh, Kaison actually another name for Kaison is called Well Foundation. Uh, well, uh, b and Kaisons are actually uh, heavy, uh, massive foundations that they are so heavy that they can even keep away water. For example, uh, if this is your uh, if you are going to undertake construction inside where there is water so all you need is uh, drop a huge well foundation there and you can pump away the water and once this kaison is secured once the kaison is secured once you pump away the water it keeps away the water and you, you are here uh, uh, doing your, I mean, uh, 
working inside the the person. So the well foundation keeps away water and then protects the workers inside. Uh, so th th you can also use this for uh, as already shown. So self sinking that means you. Uh, so you can see the way it is anchored. So uh, once this the, this uh, uh, equipment continues to do the excavation, then the caisson uh, continues to sink uh, to protect the uh, the uh, uh, the workers or the the equipment. And you can see this uh, uh, this part uh, added to make sure that the length uh, continues to cover the <coughs> the the entire uh, protect the entire uh, vertical wall or the entire vertical well. Yeah, so it's self sinking. So uh, once you work to create some space, then the caisson sinks, and then uh, you continue to work uh, as usual. So the design methodology. Uh, this is uh, the reason why we say that uh, you need to remember the foundation engineering uh, that you've done. Uh, we are basically talking about the lateral uh, earth pressures for design shaft. So uh, the active uh, ranking earth pressure, plane strain condition. We assume. Uh, of course, we are, what we are going to do here is uh, very basic, uh, but so you have an idea. In reality, in fact, uh, things are much more complex. So we assume that the, there's a no horizontal surface, no friction between the soil and the wall, and we are talking about the this is the the ranking assumptions, which are much simpler. You rem if you remember well, uh, we have the ranking uh, theory of lateral earth pressure. Uh, there is also Moculamb, Caricot cell. There are other several others. Of course, the most common are only uh, are these two. Uh, ranking, ranking assumes no friction, uh, and uh, r also ranking assumes just horizontal ground. But Moculamb uh, makes uh, uh, advancements, assumes a lack of uh, no horizontal ground surface. That means the uh, the surface can be oriented as at beta, and also uh, uh, Moculomb assumes there is some friction between the wall and the uh, the the soil. Actually, uh, there are other ones like, for example, uh, there's another one called Mono Oka, eh? I think Okabe and Mononobe. Okabe. And if you don't know this, don't worry too much. I'm just uh, telling you that. Uh, now, these guys uh, have uh, given us an idea of how to, because we are only as talking about uh, static conditions. How about if there's an earthquake? So this Okabe and Mononobe have uh, given us some ideas of how to deal with the uh, uh, the retaining walls basically uh, when there is an earthquake. But uh, so just just to show you an idea uh, to give you because that's why we're saying this is based on ranking. But just to let you know, there are other theories like Okabe, Mononobe. Uh, there is a uh, 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 There are Kaikot, Carisel, and so on and so forth. But each are useful uh, depending on the scenario. So here we are going to make the very simplest of, us of assumptions uh, to see if we can uh, uh, solve. Now the active earth pressure <coughs> is uh, this according to uh, 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 ranking, and this is for play uh, because for for sand for sand uh, there is no. So the entire equation is for play, but for sand only this part is is uh, <coughs> relevant. For sand only this part is relevant. Anyone who can tell me the why? For sand only that part is relevant. Why? Uh, 
very good. And uh, so, so in reality, uh, we are talking about an axi axisymmetric means uh, something like a circle, where any symmetry, uh, any line of symmetry you take, is uh, giving you. Uh, you can you can find symmetry on any axis. Uh, that's what you say axis symmetry. Because if you're talking about a circle, if we it it takes symmetry from there, this side is symmetrical. If you take symmetry from there, if you take symmetry from there, anyway, as long as that passes through the center, then uh, it divides it into half. So uh, we because it's always we're talking about a circle, and uh, then there's always axis symmetry. Then we are saying the lateral strain, <coughs> uh, if if uh, the strain can uh, go up to 0.1%, uh, then we can say that the ranking active uh, condition can develop. And uh, so these are some idealized, Id idealized, uh, idealized, Uh, these are some idealized uh, uh, systems. So, uh, actually, in, in reality, uh, you find uh, uh, layered sand over clay, or clay over sand, or even alternative alternating layers. <coughs> uh, so we can have uh, drained conditions. Yeah, the internet seems to have been fluctuating a little bit, but now it's it's much better. So we can have a drained condition if we have water. Uh, uh, um, we have uh, water. So so, <coughs> uh, for example, if we talk about. Uh, uh, Total stress. Uh, uh, we, we know that total stress. Uh, I believe maybe we should know this. Total stress would be the total stress would be the gamma sat times the z. So for total stress, if you're talking about total stress, sigma, uh, this is just uh, a straight line like this. And uh, so this is uh, total sigma, and this is the, the z. Now, if we talk about effective stress, would be uh, the total stress, total stress minus four water, and then the four water uh, pressure would be uh, the gamma water times the z of water. All right, so if, for example, assume water is here, water is there, so There seems to be some a lot of interruptions with the internet, and uh, if this persists, I think we can end there. Uh, now, now it's much better.
Hello? Uh, there seems to be uh, some problems with the internet. If it proceed, if it continues like this, uh, we might be forced to adjourn. Yeah, because it keeps fluctuating. So I think we can end there. Uh, we can uh, we can end the class there and proceed next time.